CBS News political director John Dickerson is also in Traverse City tonight. John, good evening to you. What's your sense on the ground now? It feels very close here, Jeff. Coming into this vote, Mitt Romney had some of the momentum after that last debate where Rick Santorum didn't do so well. When you talk to voters at his rallies, they say they like Mitt Romney because they think he can beat Barack Obama, he can turn around the economy. But when you go to a Santorum rally, they're much more enthusiastic. The voters are responding to, to Santorum when he talks on stage and, and draws that clear contrast between his policies and Barack Obama. So the enthusiasm feels like it's with Santorum, though Romney has the advantage in money, organization, and ties to the state. John, what happens to Mitt Romney if he loses Michigan? It would be a near fatal blow. His campaign would be in critical condition because he has so many advantages in Michigan. He has money. His family lived here. He grew up here. He's been playing on all of those ties. So if he lost, when you talk to Republican strategists, they say there would be this search for somebody because they're worried that Rick Santorum is just too conservative to win in a general election. But who would they go looking for? Jeb Bush, the former governor of Florida, or Indiana's governor, Mitch Daniels, have been talked about. But those men say they don't want to run. So Mitt Romney's be best chance in the end, if there is this search, is that there will be no one else and that he'll still have to stay in the race and just fight it out all the way to Tampa, where the convention will be held. John Dickerson on the trail for us tonight. John, thank you.